The reserve was established in 1971 to protect the local wildlife. Unfortunately, the poachers still go after our elephants. So the reserve is protected and looked after by many wildlife wardens. With 800 square miles to cover, they spend a lot of time in the air looking out for us. Our safari takes us into some pretty rough landscape this morning. Not to worry, though, we're always in radio contact with those airborne wardens. There are eyes in the sky. So if everybody's ready, as we say in Harambe, twin day, let's go. Tempo 6, Harambe 1. We're inside the reserve now. Your eyes open for small animals that may be hiding in the trees and undergrowth. Um, got quite a few uh, yellow-billed storks on both sides of the road looking at us this morning. You'll copy. Right up here to the right-hand side. Black and white. You're going to miss it. Well, you may also catch a glimpse of the black rhino who's trotting around up at the top of this road here. The rhino seems pretty indestructible, but they've been hit hard by poachers. There are less than 3,000 black rhinos left in all of Africa. Talongo. See it up there eating the trees? Large red body with stripes, horns. They are called the ghosts of the forest because they are rarely seen. That is rarely seen. Sounds like our wildlife wardens are already in the air. Kilimanjaro Safari calling Warden Wilson Matua. Wilson, you're making your rounds today. Over. Yes, Simbawan. And today I have a passenger. Miss Jobson, my favorite wildlife researcher. Hum Jumbo, everyone. We're at the Safi River heading north into the savannah. If you've got any wildlife spotting tips, we'd love to hear them. Roger, Simbawan. We'll do. Over. I have some hippos over here to the left. I see ears and heads and everything else trying to stick out. The hippo spends a lot of time under the water, otherwise those big bodies of theirs would really overheat. An adult hippo can stay submerged underwater as long as eight minutes. Good morning. <laughs> These are Egyptian geese over to the left hand side also. The pink legs. Egyptian geese. Simba one, when you come to Senegali Bridge, you go pony pony, very slowly. That old bridge has a hippo down here against the wall. And I think I will shift the eye spread the crocodile know it. Roger Wilson, we see plenty of crocs. They see us. It is crocs. <laughs> part of the Serengeti grassland system. Zebra and wildebeest migrate through it. Antelope, lion, and elephant live there year-round. It's part of the wild Africa we're all working hard to save. I see you down there. You are in Pushka. 
countries. Try carefully. I don't want you bumping into my animals. You should begin to see a wide variety of grass-eating animals around you, such as Thompson's gazelle. <laughs> Miss Thompson, no one in Africa calls them Thompson's gazelle. They are Tobies. Tobies. Over. Ah, thanks, you two. We'll talk to you later. Over. Yeah, those are little Tommy gazelles out there, but you can see them better on the other side of the that side. So, talk about them when we get over there. Uh, ahead up on the hill there, you see some antelope that are dark in color. Those are sable antelope. Dark color, uh, white markings, sable antelope. Very pretty they are. Also, these trees you see in front of you are sausage trees, Cajelia africana. The sausages hanging down from the branches are actually a hard, sour fruit. Local people make a lemonade sort of drink from them. If you look to the ground, you'll see those little Tommy gazelles lying in there. They're mature adults, weighing about 60 pounds at maturity. Yes, those tall cones of earth you see are termite mounds. Hard as concrete, the elephants like to use them as scratching posts. Once they're worn down, the antelope use them as lookout points to spot lion in the tall grass. There's some more Tommies all out there lying down. On the savanna, there's some zebra back in these trees. And the tree line, as well as the elander there. The elander, the largest of the forest antelope, tawny brown ones. There's giraffe in there also. Giraffe and zebra. What? Yep. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. It's a little small herd of wildebeest down, lying down in the center here, and up on the hill there's some ostrich, farther up there. side of these rocks to the left, you may see the mandrel baboon. We're also entering elephant country at this time. Hopefully we'll get to see our two most famous residents. Some mandrels here, if you can see them back through those trees, the down trees. Also down on the rock, the lower level of the rock there. There's the large male right there. He is, he is huge. Very handsome gentleman. Also elephant over to the right hand side. I have not seen them today. Try the red clay pit. Big Red is the elephant matriarch of the reserve's herd. She gave birth a while ago to a new calf. He does bathe in the same red clay pit as his mama, so I named him Little Red. Elephants are 
elephants are wonderfully social creatures. They have moods, sympathies, and emotions. Over. Some nice pictures there. Oh, oh my. Oh, I think they do that. It looks like they ham it up sometimes. Yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Well, another old bridge. Everybody cross your fingers. Hold on tight. Make sure you hold on to those blue ones. You might also spot those elephants. All right, right there. Uh oh. Hey, you didn't cross your fingers. <laughs> So this is symbol one again worth the red clay pits. I see tusk marks and footprints, but no sign of big red. We'll continue east in the watering hole. Over. I could be using symbol one. Over. Symbol one. I have to report back to base. Over. Sawasawa Wilson, we'll pick you up when we can. Over. See what's playing on the radio. Is the ostrich? No. The right hand side. A large mare from the storks on the right hand side of the vehicle. Also, some white storks, as well as the greater flamingo in the center.
go on to Wilson worth the copy. Nothing suspicious here. Okay, Simova, but keep your eyes open for anything unusual. Simova. Coming up on the right hand side are some scimitar horned oryx. Those horns are named after a famous sword, the scimitar sword. They are actually about 42 inches long. There's also some more gazelle back in there. Some more? More, more. Yeah. Might as well, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I don't know. I need to go into this. Yeah. What was that movie called? It was good, here to the right hand side as I come around this curve, Great Akudu, right over here. All right, everybody up for help on Wilson get these poachers? Yeah, count us in, Wilson. I got one guy with me back there. Watch me get stuck here. We won't have to do anything. Oh, Simple one to Wilson. We're at the crossroads. The gate smashed through. Tell me what to do. Keep going, Simple man. We are landing now. Will do. Simple one. We spotted the butcher. Heading. Force them towards us. Roger, hang on everybody. Yep, yeah. well, there they go. Look out now. Oh, the poacher camp. Smoldering fire, they can't be too far. Get these guys. We caught them, Simba. You forced them into our trap. The water tap, Big Red. She'll be fine. Little Red safe. Alright. See you, Simba One. I have to deliver the baby elephant back to his mama. Asante, Sada. Goodbye, Simba One, and thank you. Glad we could help. <laughs> Asante Sana, everyone. Thanks for helping us save Little Red. I'll be dropping you off at the Warden Post just a few short steps from the Gorilla Falls Exploration Trail or back into the Harambe Village. Hope you had a great safari this morning. Come on back to Africa real soon. The animals will be waiting.